Over the course of having two kids, I've owned three Infant Optics DXR8 baby monitors because one, I trusted the tens of thousands of positive reviews on Amazon, and two, at the time, I simply didn't want to spend the effort trying to find another monitor. And after having owned three separate units, the immense popularity of this monitor just boggles my mind. I simply don't get it. But after years of literally not changing anything about the way this monitor works or functions, the folks at Infant Optics recently released the Infant Optics DXR8 Pro. So let's talk about my initial impressions, what's different from the original DXR8, and if the upgraded features in the new Infant Optics DXR8 Pro do enough to put my imaginary blood feud with the folks at Infant Optics to bed. Hey, this is John with Fathercraft, where we review baby gear and offer online courses and other resources that help make this whole parenting thing just a bit easier. Before we get too far into this review, I want to mention that there are affiliate links in the description below. So if you're looking to purchase this monitor or any other monitor I mentioned in this video, please consider clicking those links as it helps us grow this channel and uh, there's no additional cost to you. Plus, we have links to other amazing resources that we provide at Fathercraft, like our online course for new dads called Father's Ed, plus a handful of other useful mini courses like how to choose a baby monitor uh, and baby sleep school. So be sure to check those out as well. And uh, thank you. The monitor that comes to mind for me when looking at the new Infant Optics DXR8 Pro is the Eufy Space View, which is another non-Wi-Fi or non-connected monitor we reviewed a couple of months ago. And I really like the Eufy. It's actually my favorite non-connected monitor, and I would recommend it to any parents looking for a monitor that doesn't connect through your Wi-Fi. But after using the Infant Optics DXR8 Pro for a little over a week now, um, is this my new favorite non-connected monitor? No. The biggest reason being the number of smart and useful features that the Eufy provides is far more valuable than what the original Infant Optics provided, and even more so than this new and improved version. Now, in a plot twist worthy of being written into the new Dynasty series, I feel firm in now saying that I wouldn't not recommend the new Infant Optics DXRA Pro. It's kind of like the way I would recommend Iceberg Lettuce. Is it good for you? Sure, I guess, maybe a little bit. Does it taste good? I mean, uh, it doesn't really have a taste, so I can't say no. Listen, I don't hate it, uh, especially in the way I hate the original. Um, it's okay. It's the iceberg lettuce of non-connected monitors. But the original Infant Optics, still a big no. Throw it away. If someone puts it on your registry, slap that person in the face. Set the thing on fire if you have it. Put it on a baseball tee and take a home run size swing with a crowbar to it. gets that distance. All right, before we dive into the features, let's dive into what's in the box. Well, it's pretty straightforward. You get the camera, obviously. You get the new and improved updated parent unit, which is um, clearly bigger than the original version. You get power cords, and you also get this new uh, power bank adapter. You can uh, plug your monitor into that brick and then you'll have two bricks to carry on with you. And just like the original version, you get this uh, wide angle lens adapter. It also comes with a screw and a wall anchor. And if you want to mount the camera to the wall to get that bird's eye view, you can do it with this. Um, and you know, that's about it. Okay, so let's take a look at what features are carried over from the original model. There's still plenty of crossover between the original Infant Optics DXR8 and the new Pro version. You still have this interchangeable lens system with detachable wide and zoom lenses. They both have a six times zoom capability and both have the uh, 95 degree upward tilt, a 25 degree downward tilt, and a 135 degree left and right pan. You get the two-way communication feature and the parent units both have an LED sound indicator on the side of the parent unit. Now the new features of the Infant Optics DXR8 Pro I think are some pretty great additions, especially around the updated parent unit. The screen has been increased to five inches and the resolution has been updated to 720p, which is like double what it was before. Um, it makes it much easier to actually tell what's going on in the monitor. Volume and brightness controls have been added as buttons to the parent unit as well, which helps make the parent unit even more user friendly. The range has been extended by 50% to a maximum range of 1000 feet um, over the original model that had a maximum range of 700 feet, but there's some nuance to this. So 
These distances require a clear line of sight, which means you would have to basically live inside of a football stadium to achieve either one of these scenarios. So I don't think it really matters if your monitor has a 700 foot range or a thousand foot range, because you're never going to find yourself in one of those situations where you're a thousand feet away from your monitor, but you can still see it because there's no obstructions. Not gonna happen. However, the further you do get away from the camera, the interference you'll run into will most likely be caused by other electronic devices emitting radio frequency signals, which nearly almost every other device you own does. Our How to Choose a Baby Monitor course actually goes a bit more into this concept, so if you want to check that out, click the link in the description below. There's even a cameo from this guy. Hey guys, Andrew here, Dadverb. Probably the biggest update to the Infant Optics DX8 Pro is a feature called Active Noise Reduction, and it's quite impressive, which is a word I never thought I'd use in the same sentence as infant optics. Now microphones in basically every camera are omnidirectional, so they'll pick up any noise that's in range of the microphone. So like your air conditioner or fans that are running or whatever is making any ambient noise, the microphones will most likely pick up. When the active noise reduction feature is enabled, it will minimize that background noise and only pick up the noise being emitted from your baby. So when your baby isn't crying, you don't constantly hear an annoying hum coming from the parent unit. And it works really well. Here's some audio samples of Calvin's room with the uh, active noise reduction turned off. And now with the active noise reduction turned on. I mean, I think that's pretty impressive and something I don't believe is available with any other baby monitor on the market. The one thing I'm still looking into is how this feature affects battery life, but from what I can tell so far, it seems to be minimal. All right, so having used this monitor again for a little over a week, uh, I can say that the Pro version is a definite upgrade from the original and it ranks pretty high up there for me as far as non-Wi-Fi monitors go. It's also super easy to set up, just plug everything in and you, you're good to go. The screen quality is day and night compared to uh, the original and basically on par with other monitors like the uh, UV Space View. Also, the active noise reduction feature is something I find to be super impressive. There I go again using that word. What a world we live in. So am I going to switch to this monitor as my main monitoring source? No. I still much prefer the functionality of Wi-Fi monitors and I thoroughly enjoy only needing to have my phone to view the video feed. And I'd still recommend the UFI Space View because of the additional features it offers like being able to play lullabies and its active sound and movement alerts that come with the monitor. The additional features of the UFI also come with a cheaper price tag of 160 bucks compared to $199 for the Infant Optics Pro. At the end of the day, if the concerns you have maybe regarding the reliability of your Wi-Fi service uh, makes connected monitors a non-starter, or if you're not really into bells and whistles, but the active noise reduction is something that really uh, piques your interest, then I'd say go ahead and get yourself the Infant Optics DXR8 Pro. Well, there you go. I, I can't believe I'm actually kind of recommending this. They've come a long way. I'll give them that. A long way. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're into this channel and what we're all about and what we do, please be sure to check out our links in the description below. And also um, consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Again, that does a lot for us uh, and helps us get in front of more parents uh, so we can provide them more information like we're doing now. Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm just being overly harsh on the original Infant Optics. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll see if it changes my, my viewpoint at all. It probably won't, but I'm still interested in hearing what you guys think. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I think I look high, but I'm not. I think I look high. Shoot. I swear I'm not.